Okay. Okay. Um. So, now that everybody has eaten and drunk and uh, snorked all the cocaine they had, let's keep going. Cocaine in them. Snorkeled. Snorkeled cocaine, that's the problem. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, what were we doing again? Somebody remind me. Going to the Cog City. Cog City. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me. Mm. <clears throat> I'm just exorcising some demons. Be gone, evil, evil thing inside me. Go outside. There we go. Right. <clears throat> Ambience music, that'll do. Right. So, you guys are traveling towards the machine city. Spend one Russian, except for Tali. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. By the way, at least the people know what the city is called. It's called Andromeda. I don't know if you guys know what that means, but that's it. Maybe you guys can find out, and maybe you guys can spout lore. Oh my god, who knows? Google. Anyway. <clears throat> <laughs> now, <clears throat> you guys are at the city, quote-unquote, doors that lead to the machine city. Does Did that sentence make sense? Because I'm still kind of high. I didn't... Wait, what? I thought, never mind, I'll just keep going. I'm not gonna question myself. That's, that's, that's a bad sign. Okay. So yeah, you're at the city. Uh, as you're standing there... Um, you see that uh, a few small uh, things pop out from the wall and they look like small eyes and they're looking at you. And suddenly they're bl hmm. they blare up and say, identify yourselves. Bond. I am Alexander Shimur, the hero. Uh, the machine uh, thinks about it for a second and says, no match. For what purpose have you come here? We have come to visit this great city. And reattach somebody's arm. <laughs> uh, the machine looks over to the rest of you guys and tells you to identify yourselves. Bond. I, James I Bond. I identify myself. And he's Bond. James Bond. I Please just let every machine in the city <clears throat> call him Bond from this point on. A mm -hmm. customer. I hope so. <laughs> Please uh, proceed to section 3 for inspection. And the machine like reverts back into the wall and you see a wall somewhere on the side pop up open. And some uh, humanoid machines like uh, Plexi are standing there. Like Not like Plexi, but just like, you know, they're machines that look like humans, basically. Mm, humanoid. They're humanoid. waiting for you to enter. They don't have weapons or anything, they're just there standing and waiting for you. By the way, I turn to Plexi and go, hmm, does this seem normal? Yes. Fair yeah. enough. Well, I trust Plexi. Let's head on inside. That's why we're here, right. after all. You guys go through processing, and while that's going on, uh, some basic information is being laid out for you. Uh, uh, basically, you're going through processing, and they say, like, uh, no weapons are allowed inside the city. They will all be confiscated and returned to you once you leave the city. That's fair. There is no need for currency, there is no we uh, no need for your uh, primitive uh, armors and uh, irregular clothes. Everything I you need will clothes. be provided for you since you are going inside the city, if you're approved. And, and they will be returned to us on our leaving, just like our yes. weapons? Yes. Everything yeah, will be returned to you once, you're, once you leave. And my hat, does it count as... <laughs> uh... You can keep your hat if you want to. Okay, cool. Basically, they're saying oh. you're not gonna need weapons, you're not gonna need money, you're not gonna need any provisions, you're not gonna need armors, nothing. So we can just leave mm -hmm. it with them? Sweet. Yeah, you can leave everything here. It, uh, the only thing machines. that uh, like you're restricted on, you're not allowed to bring any weapons in there, it's for the safety of the city. Everything else you can bring with you, but they're se telling you you're not gonna need it, it's just gonna weigh you down. Mm. Well, I'll I am take gonna... the elven bread, but... And uh, my tools. Uh. Yeah, by the way, I didn't write down. Like, I have the cloaks I can deflect the, the fucking Yeah, yeah, you can keep that. By the way, Alexander, the tools, uh, they tell you that you need a special permit in order to work with tools. If you don't have a special uh, permit, they're considered as weapons and you cannot carry them with you. Uh, but if I get this permit, can I have them back? Uh, temporary citizens, uh, citizens cannot be granted permits for wielding tools. 
Damn it. You're basically uh... applying for a temporary visa right now. You're just visitors, you're not citizens here. Uh, and, oh. But of course I can keep my uh, book and my gem. Yeah, you can keep your it. book. Fair enough, I guess I'll leave whatever else with them. I can carry my potions and stuff. Right, so all of you are leaving your weapons, magical items included, like uh, Sullivan, your wand is considered a weapon since they know what magic is. Uh, you guys have to leave basically, yeah, what all your staff? stuff as well, yeah. You wouldn't part an old man with his step with his walking stick, would you? <laughs> Your stuff Excellent. carries hmm. magical properties. It is considered a weapon. If you require a staff, we can procure a different one for you. Walking cane. Excellent. It was okay. worth a shot. I think I've heard that one somewhere. So are you guys no, gonna uh, like apart from your weapons and tools, are you guys gonna take all your books and armors and stuff or do you just wanna leave them here? My my clothes are my armor, oh, no. so I'll wear them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I keep my things. Okay, I Besides... wear my clothes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm Basically, not going in. Uh, like, like uh, the one that's getting the most fuss over is Vic because he's obviously wearing some heavy shit that looks like armor and protection. You guys have more normal clothes, so they don't, they don't bug you as much. They're basically telling Vic, like, uh, you can leave your primitive uh, armor here if you want. We'll supply you with uh, more appropriate clothes for the city. Your primitive. Uh, no, I'm fine. <laughs> Okay, nice. if you want to keep them, they don't stop you. Cool. Can I also keep my dagger? No, you cannot no, keep any weapon. weapons. It's for the safety of the city. I'm guessing my Well, the dagger is for my safety. safety. No, uh, don't yeah. worry. Uh, ev uh, while you're inside the city, your safety is guaranteed. Uh huh. Well. Yeah, that right. always ends bad when someone says that. Yeah, they always say that. Yeah, it always. But then someone stabs you in the fucking neck, and then you don't have a dagger to defend yourself with. Yeah, you do. Oh, well. You've got that. You've got that dagger. They just stabbed you in the back of the neck with. Yeah, but that's okay, in my neck. And if I pull it out, I'm gonna start bleeding profusely. God damn it, right. Sullivan. <laughs> oh wait, of course I'm gonna be permitted to keep the handle of the sword I have. It's just a handle. It's not even a weapon. Yes, you can keep that. They're not gonna stop you. <laughs> oh, and my toolkit is. Well, what if yeah, you're your own weapon? City. Well, then you better be on your best behavior. They don't know that. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put you on a storage. Like an object. They suspect right. we can still do some damage, but were they given so, enough to good faith? <laughs> so, with all your uh, weapons and stuff removed, you go through processing. Suddenly, you enter some vat like things and you're flooded with water. You're surprised to find out that you can actually breathe even though you're underwater. It's some kind of liquid that goes in your lungs. And it, it's pretty bitchy for the first few minutes, but then you get used to it. It's like you're in a womb all over again. After yeah, you leave, you're completely disinfected. You go one by one through this process. It's not a matter of choice. You're disinfected for any and checked out for any diseases that you may bring inside the city. Huh. Yeah, I heard of that stuff, by the way. That actually exists in real life. It's kind of cool. But yeah, Alexander's like... <coughs> after he's come out, he's like... Hey, yeah, it's safe there. to say once that shit leaves your lungs, you're gonna feel like fucking hell for a while. Your lungs are burning. <laughs> so after you go through all that, they finally bring you to the final stage, they let you have a seat and uh, they're processing uh, your information. For a moment there, uh, Plexi uh, is standing with you, but then they call him over. You, machine, come, uh, come over for identification. Uh, they bring him closer, they begin scanning him, the, the monitor starts to display information about him. Wait, what was his full information? Just a sec, because I don't know where I put that shit. Uh, so prepared. Dude, do you have any idea how many notes I have? Shut up. Don't, don't, don't rush me. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, by the way, Alexander, while you were in that uh, small oasis place, uh, no, no legends begin to arise about the ego born. So people were basically uh, asking for you to provide them for tavern drinking money and shit. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's the eagle born now. <laughs> of course, he would do that stuff. Ah, <laughs> eagle born. That's one in the past. The stupid. So man. first it was turtle born, now it's eagle born. I wonder what's going to be next. Plexi. So you see that uh, you know his name is Plexi because that's what he shortened it to. But what his name stands for is actually positronic life form engineered for genocide and infiltration. 
So basically, yeah. Plexi is some kind of infiltration unit that's meant to extinct species from the inside out. Huh. Entire species? Um, Holy shit. So as the uh, processing why... keeps going, it, it continues to display information about him. Uh, third generation, model, model unknown, no records held. So as that happens, the entire process freezes down. Like they've got their hands on a machine that they that's very advanced and they do not recognize it. And you guys just brought it in and you guys are just random strangers. So the place immediately goes on full, full lockdown. You see that the machines are standing on alert. Like they're ready, ready to pretty much apprehend you just in case. So as the machines are doing some kind of processing, suddenly the tension goes away and says, they're approved, let them in the city. And as that happens, the, the machines comply. Nobody questions about anything that just happened. They just let Plexi and the rest of you guys enter the city. What the heck? And as this happens, I don't know. I question. as you guys end up on the other side and questioning what the fuck just happened, the city begins to sprawl in front of you. But before you can take the site in, somebody gets in your way. Of course. Okay. Down in front. Down in front. Some guy in a suit Kill that it. looks very smug and uh, whatever uh, walks Japanese. up to you. Vic, he he slams his hand on your uh, on your chest to get your attention, and as you instinctively like bring your hand up, he slipped some kind of note to you. And as he slips the note to you, he just continues walking and disappears into one of the side alleys without saying anything. <laughs> You know Do the rest of my party see that? I assume it did. Yeah. yeah, he wasn't trying to be conspicuous or anything. Okay. He just uh, shoved it in your uh, in your uh, chest so nobody else can see it but you guys. <laughs> I read the you note. Do you know it'd be weird if I just all of a sudden see the first guy that comes up to me and I just like fireball? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wouldn't be weird. It would be another yeah, that's, not... that's against you. It's not unusual, really. Well, I I think it'd be hilarious. Just like you should do it. This guy, this guy walks out. Well, well, fireball. Wait, what? Fireball. <laughs> anyway, Quest on the failed. note, Vic, what you read, Tricker. what you read Tricker. on the note is like uh, written like uh, in hand. It's not printed or anything. It's just normal handwriting. Uh -huh. Yeah. Welcome to Andromeda. And underneath it, it says like what the what Andromeda means. It means ruler of men. What is this? A fucking leaf? And uh, from that point on, you keep reading. the uh, The streets have uh, the streets have eyes stick to the shadows. You see that, uh, by the way, uh, Alexander, you you immediately recognize the eye-like shapes because it was uh, similar to what greeted you in the city. There are cameras everywhere in the streets. The side alleys seem to be blind spots, however. Alright, well, alright guys. And uh, under the note it continues reading. Okay. Uh, uh, because uh, you, you get the feeling that you're in this city because of this guy. He says, my boss sends his regards. He'll meet you later at uh, the... What was it called? Just a sec. Oh yeah, just the club. Yeah. He'll meet the you later Norman. at the club. Find your way there. Okay. And that's all the note says. At the club. The club. That's Damn. Strange. That must be Weird. some serious business. As you guys convey shit. this information uh, in front of you, a small helper robot comes to your site and he greets you immediately. Welcome, new visitors, to Andromeda. Can I be of assistance to you? Yeah, where is the club? The club. Uh, I assume you mean... Uh, an establishment inside the human residence. If you wish, I can take you to the human living quarters. Um, That's fine, first. just give us the directions. What's the other... Uh, uh, first, uh, could... Before we do anything else, guys, uh, we need medical facilities. Medical facilities? Oh, I yeah. will take you there immediately, if you wish. That would uh, be great. Very well we then. Uh, he, he some kind of beep plays out, and suddenly some kind of uh, weird ass thing happens. Uh, there uh -huh. seems to be some kind of metal carriage that comes over to pick you guys up. It's got like spidery legs, by the way. Is it pulled by humans? <laughs> no. Okay. No. That's horribly inefficient. <laughs> please stand. Uh, please get inside. 
We, I shall personally <laughs> escort you to the medical facility. I thought this was uh, Taiwan. No! <laughs> it's like, okay everybody, come on, we gotta get your arm reattached. Right, as you go in there and you're traveling around, you manage to get a good view of the city. It's basically like cut in a few sectors. You see th these giant uh, gears actually, they're slowly moving. They're not like stopped, they're constantly in motion. And they're all uh, small sections of the city, like for instance, industrial area, main area, human living area, like the, all the different cogs are different uh, areas. Okay. And as I you see, there's time. actually yeah. some bridges that connect the things. And since these things are constantly in motion, for a moment you're like, hey, what the fuck, how can there be a bridge there? But as soon as this cog is about to make its full swing and the bridge is about to collapse, you see it's some s very fast and small spider-like beings, like the ones Amos saw inside the giant machine, just crawl around and disconnect the bridge, picking it into parts, and then ju they just assemble it over here. And for the next day, the bridge will continue going until it reaches this point again. And they'll just <laughs> remake the bridge. That's... that's dumb. That's how it works. That's so stupid. <laughs> that's how it works. Everyone like, must be real seasick here. It doesn't matter, it's still... No, sick. the... Basically, when, when the Earth is going around the sound, do you think... Do you feel motion sickness? These wheels are turning yeah. very slowly, so it's not that bad. Look. I get up from my fucking chair, I feel motion sickness. That's because you're a wuss. Anyway... <laughs> uh... Not the part... So, basically, you guys are taken to the medical facilities, and uh, the machine asks, what kind of medical treatment do you require? Uh, missing a limb. Do you wish a cyber limb attached or do you carry your original limb? Yeah, somehow this weirdo um, got the hold of my arm, missing arm. So. Uh, we shall ask if, uh, though, if it can be reattached. He takes a good look at the arm, he scans it, he goes for some kind of process in his brain and then says, The arm is in pristine condition, you will be taken for operation immediately. <laughs> Do any of you require any medical assistance? Uh, yes. Uh, you see, my friend here is missing an arm, and uh, I have it here, and we need it. Yeah, we already attached. talked about we that. We just talked about that. <laughs> well, why did uh, I ask uh, again? Uh, why suddenly, we, we suddenly, need assistance? well, he asks about the rest of you. If any of you need any help, so the the bot just says, "I see one of you need, requires a psychiatrist. We'll we'll go to him immediately." <laughs> yeah, oh, can, can, I, can you do me to, lips, uh, to O'Sullivan? Oh god. <laughs> oh no, it's talking about you, because you apparently are crazy. Me? Why me? Anyway, so do any if any other of you require any kind of assistance? Yeah, hit no, my door. What kind of medical services do you offer? <laughs> he's he's talking about marijuana. Marijuana? <laughs> marijuana, really? Can I get two doses of uh, marijuana injection, please? No. <laughs> they don't know what that is. Fuck. You don't have those here? Alright. Wizard's weed. <laughs> yeah, but, mm. Your fondness of a hacking It's not called wizard's weed, it's called wizard's your mind. Oh. They probably sell crystal meth here. Anyway, as you guys get patched up, Vic, you're gonna get your arm reattached. They're gonna give you some antibiotics and some uh, other medication that you need to take for a week. You better not miss out, otherwise your, your body's probably gonna reject your own arm and you'll, you'll have problems. That makes so much sense. Yes, I know. <laughs> By so way, yeah, I just wanna suffer time... infections and die from it, or get it cut off again. Just make sure to take your medicine. He's even seen pills before. He's like, what the fuck? Yeah, well, they explain everything to him, so it's fine. I mean, it looks like little food. Uh, if you wish, <laughs> make sure to drop by <laughs> every day for inspections to make sure your arm is healing fine. By the way, Vic, uh, Alexander, you, since I assume you go there because you're curious, you see that they use some kind of lasers mm -hmm. and gel that basically makes the healing process work a lot faster. What oh. is a cyber arm? Uh, they show you like a few catalogs, you see uh, limbs made out of metal and other materials that are basically attached to humans. That's so metal. Yeah. Where can I, where can I, I, look at, I look at Alex, where can I get a book on this? A book? Well, my book contains a few of these, I think. He flips open. Uh, by the way, yes, the, the Dark Magus Librarium is in this city too, so you can visit that. Uh, <laughs> probably <laughs> I'm yeah, always not... flipping through his book. Can he see any, notice any, like, 
similarities? No, nothing this advanced. Mm. But there is some talk about uh, how Bo uh, Bolan like uh, was considering uh, working on combining machine and humans and make androids and such <coughs> stuff. That's strange that it would have Plexi in here, but not the rest of them. Oh well, never mind. Yeah, weird, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Really weird. So, by the way, I... uh, since the ma since you were all completely scanned, uh, the machine points out to Alexander since you bring out the book and are uh, checking checking through it. Uh, by the way, if you do not uh, mind me asking, how did you acquire one of the books of the creator? Book. Oh. I oh. Oh, wow. I can't believe Bolan actually made this place. I was kind of hoping it was something else. He really is a great genius. Um, Correction. Well, this city was not built by the creator. We were built by the creator. And you built this city? That is correct. Ah, I see. So... Wow. Impressive. But I obtained it if from one of his workshops. If you wish to learn more about the, the city's history, everything related uh, and useful to humans can be found in the human living sector. Ah, good, good. We'll head there next then. But yeah, I obtained a book from uh, one of his workshops. Which workshop would that be? Uh, workshop of that, yeah. I think I would ha I would probably know its name. Like, uh, no, you it's don't. It's had a secret workshop. You just know uh, the general area of where it was. So you I guess I would mention it's in the area in my continent's area. Like I would mention. Workshop it. number four, five, six. Duly noted. Thank you. Wait, you know where the workshop is? You know where my uh, home is? We have discovered over 1,500 uh, secret laboratories used by our creator. Uh, yours is the number that I just said and forgot. <laughs> Four, five, six. So yeah, ah, apparently he has over 1,500 shops all over the place. How can one man have to do so much? Hmm. Take a... Yeah, Vic, uh, surprisingly, uh, okay. after a few hours you're on your feet and you feel just fine because you've got some painkillers running through you. So oh, yeah. Worry about that. Oh, oh you're yeah. The good stuff, if you know what I mean. Uh, oh, it's your first time ever using medicine. You are <laughs> dope the fuck out. <laughs> Morphine man. <laughs> uh, by the way, the robot looks over to you. Uh, should you feel more fa pain, p uh, please feel... Uh, Inclined to contact one of our helper robots and let us know. We will immediately uh, examine you and make sure to treat you. Fuck yeah, man. So Can I take it that you like the robot city so far. No, <laughs> no I like the drugs they have. <laughs> <laughs> the don't they supposedly awesome. have. Uh, don't She's do drugs, kids. Opium. Yeah, don't do drugs. No, bad. Yeah, after a while you guys are gonna... Uh, basically this entire city, uh, only the human living sections kind of resemble what a city would be. The rest is just for machines and it's built for for efficiency, for nothing else. So only the human living quarters like have proper streets and towers and all that stuff. The rest of the city is pretty blunt and looks all the same to you. Well, I guess we're going to the human place, but I suggest that we... By the way, we're, we're probably exiting the hospital by this point. So I suggest mm -hmm. we follow the advice of our friend and keep well, your Well, uh, your vehicle, quote-unquote vehicle, is waiting for you, so he's there with you. He was sent there to help you guys settle in, so... Yeah, well, we can take Your, uh, the your temporary visa gives you... Uh, a temporary status as a visitor, after a week it will expire and you will have to leave the city. If you wish, you can apply for a citizenship, but uh, that means that you will have to put in at least five years of service. Oh my god, yeah, we're totally gonna fucking do that. Does it say five years of service or equivalent? No. Equivalent. By the way, since uh, the topic was brought up, you start to see some commercials about... Uh, <clears throat> Enlisting in the federal city army and you actually hear something else that's very fucking awesome and I'm gonna play it for you, so get ready. And oh, if you guys box. interrupt it and drop and, and manage to not hear something, that's your problem because here we go, come on. Let me find it. Everybody's silent. Uh, and, and I put it? it? Oh no! 
Then simply, what? you hear O'Sullivan humming the Reading Rainbow song. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, here it is. So basically, it's the Federal Guard that they're advertising for. You can get citizenship. And uh, you hear the, the song play out for it. By the way, the Federal Guard is made out of humans working, to, working together with machines. That's basically what they're pushing for a joint force. Whoever's... Courage, duty, honor. We call upon our troopers in this our darkest Someone hour. is playing an echo, so I'm gonna stop it. What the fuck? What's with the echo? Is everybody fine now? Is everything cool? We're not gonna get an echo? <laughs> I think so. Courage, duty, honor. We call upon our troopers in this our darkest <laughs> hour. Our way of life is what we're fighting for. The flag that flies above us inspires us each day to give our very best in every way. It's a good day to die. Citizens, we fight for what is right. right. A noble sacrifice. Yeah. When yeah. duty yeah. calls, yeah. you pay the price for the Federation. I will give my life. When all is fair in love and war, that's what my gun is says. You're not alive unless you're almost dying. These are the words I march by. We fight for what is right. Come on, you're so A noble sacrifice. When so yeah, you guys pretty much get the gist of it. So basically, the federal <laughs> guard, there's uh, three types of people inside the city those that are just temporary visitors, like you. Then there's uh, uh, civilians, and then there's citizens. Civilians are basically the common folk that are tasked with. Uh, providing for the city, they're like mechanics, they're working, they're doing all sorts of things inside the city. They have to like uh, provide in order to receive their lodging, food and supplies and everything and medical care. On the other hand, the, the golden boys, the citizens, are those who enlist in the federal guard and leave the city and help out the machines with patrols and uh, mechanical work outside the city. That is uh, the most dangerous job and that's the one that gives them the most threat and respect. Basically. If, if the city has to prioritize, citizens are always its most important people because they're the ones that are willing to sacrifice themselves for the city and it's good. So it's crazy people. Mm. So gotcha. basically they are the ones that get everything for free inside the city and they have a better social status. It sounds kind of And of since like you're a... outsiders, you, you are not allowed to become uh, civilians. If you wish to join the city, you need to become civilians. Basically, you need to spend five years of service in order to gain citizenship inside the city. Wait, wait, yes. I'm confused. I'm confused. So, you just said that we couldn't be civilians. And then you said, in order to get citizenship, you need to join five years in order to become civilians. What the fuck are you saying? There are like levels of status. Uh, wait, I'm getting confused myself. Basically, there's like levels. Like, uh, you guys are temporary visitors. You've got a temporary visa. Once it expires, you guys are leaving. Yeah, green cards. Then there's, uh, then there's the civilians who are the normal folk. And then there's the citizens who are the important people. You cannot become civilians because you are not born inside the city. But you can become citizens if you enlist for the federal guard and serve for five years. See, that that's where it doesn't make sense. It's like, oh. So, five, five years in the Federal Army, and uh, all of a sudden, better than that fucker who was born here for yeah, 35 exactly. years. Yeah, exactly. That's how it works. That doesn't mm -hmm. make any sense! Well, that's how it goes. Put service in. Who people gives don't want to die. Uh, the, the, the people that put service in are basically the ones <laughs> that are tasked with going outside the city, helping the machines in the battlefield and on the field, and are the ones that are risking their lives. Everybody in the city is constantly safe. Everybody that leaves put their, puts their life in danger. They're like war veterans, so they get the best privileges. Oh, you like war veterans? Yeah, come to America. But yeah, not like <laughs> in America. I mean, how it's really supposed to be. 
Yeah. I lost my job, my house, and my family when I came back. Yeah, yeah, boohoo America. Anyway, moving on. So, yeah, he explains that basically, yeah, since you're temporary citizens, you cannot become real citizens of the city. You can only become, I mean, you cannot become temporary civilians. You cannot become ci civilians. You can only become citizens if you serve inside the Federal Guard. Why would I want to be a citizen in this trash heap? And uh, basically, like, you oh, see a oh. lot of posters of a human and a robot, like, shaking hands, working together with smiles and stuff like that. No, that robot would go like handshakes are in illogical. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Plexi gives handshakes all the time. Yost gives thumbs up. Anyway, let's take the thing towards the human quarter and then do what our friend said from before. Right, you are going to the human quarters. Just a sec. Since you guys are just temporary, you're not the elite of the elite, you are going into the uh human slums at least not the, the robots don't call them slums the humans just around here call them slums so as you can imagine humans? yeah these are the yeah. human living quarters hey. the normal hey we're gonna stick out like a sore thumb civilians. hey i don't want to go to the slums i want to go to the library <laughs> uh the library is there don't worry you, you'll get why it. is the library in the slums because all the people can reach it then even people from higher up can come down but up yes. people below can't go up <laughs> yes. See? Basic logic. There you go. Alexander Lock logic. logic. Yeah. <laughs> right. Alexander uh, business. As mind. you guys get dropped off here, the robot says uh, uh, he gives you a key card. This will provide access to your living quarters. It will also provide uh, for your meals while you're staying inside the city so you don't have to work or worry about anything. Uh, yeah, if there's anything else you require, please uh, don't hesitate to Who's ask. Who's snorting coke all the time? <laughs> Shut up. That's a secret. <laughs> Sorry. You are yeah, giving names, something. man. On YouTube, you know. Anyway, yeah, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, even if this boat leaves, don't worry. Like, there's constantly helper robots all over the place. You can just reach mm. out and ask for questions and assistance. Uh, well, so, just the yeah, direction of uh... leaves, Just <clears throat> ask if there's anything else he can do for you. Just the direction of uh, uh, accommodations and maybe of the club? He reads your chip card and then calls another smaller floating robot and he says, I will take you to your room if that is what you wish. Mm. That would be nice. Take, you better take find me out where to the staying. library. Take uh, me uh, to as the you say library. that, another small floater bot comes. I will assist you, sir. Sir, please follow me. Yeah. What right, is the it? rest of you guys are gonna go check out the room or Sullivan's going to the library? Mm-hmm. Uh, so what? Will join me. Yeah! Right. So, since going to the apartment is nothing interesting, we'll just go to the library instead. There you go. Let's Aww. see what happens to them in the library. Just wanted to know where it was and find out what's well, in it. Okay, if, we're if, if you, guys can, you guys can check it out real quick. Like, it's nothing special. It's just a living apartment. Hmm. And you guys can go join them in the library if you want. Yeah, yeah we're just saying it's like, library. click, click, it works, and then close it, and then, okay, we better go off to the library Oh, there's the not really any locks, they don't need locks. I thought that's what a card was for. Uh, no, the cards were just for identification. Oh. Uh. Because there's cameras and surveillance everywhere, dude, for security reasons, just in case. Mm -hmm. Right, let's go to the library now. That oh, fucking okay, music words. again. Right, I'm gonna have to switch to here for a second before I reach the library, it's very far. Oh, we have a beginning of the campaign here. Uh... By the way, as you guys uh, walk in, you notice that things are a little bit different than last time you uh, you visited this place. What the For fuck? one, uh, oh, the, for the, the entire sake. place seems to have changed and the grumpy guy from before seems to be gone there seems to be someone new behind the counter and she says oh hey new customers how's it going hey 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 where where'd bookworm go bookworm? <laughs> oh you mean my master uh blood pressure finally got him the old bloke should have stopped eating so much yo pain. ash you better make that a thumbnail <laughs> especially that yeah. By the way, she's just joking. Let's start it's racking in some Yeah, that, uh, that old cook is uh, kind of busy right now with more important stuff, so I'm manning the shop right now. Every shop has to have an assistant. Uh -huh. 
Hey, I'm not an assistant. I am the greatest. Uh, what was I again? Ah, uh, you guys probably don't. I am the greatest alchemist in the world. Nah, that's what this is. I'm more a lore nerd. I can see your shelves are a bit better stocked than your master's. Oh my god, shut up, Alexander. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alexander was think, literally uh, looking at the shelves. I think you said that because he thinks you're making a sex joke, but I see you're pretty <laughs> innocent, so you would, it wouldn't come to you. <laughs> she laughs at you, Alexander. <laughs> Uh, By the way, Tali, she notices that you're an elf too, and she smiles at you. Hey there, cutie, come closer. Let me give me, a, let me give you a hug. I was, I was actually gonna run up Don't to smother the her. She's important. It's been so long since I last saw another elf. Come here, give me a high five. Yeah, high five. Uh, she gives you a high five and then yanks you over so she can give you a hug and lets you, uh, lets you like stand up on top of the counter. She doesn't care. <laughs> By the oh. way, Alex, Alexander's gonna lean over to Vic and go. You know, Tally's around about 90. How old do you think she is? Uh, she, by the way, for, she seems to have heard that and she just answers uh, instead, of, instead of Vic. She says, it's not very polite to ask a girl about her age, you know. He didn't! I wasn't yeah. asking. <laughs> sure Alexander, st Alexander almost stiffens up when he remembers the last time he asked that. So, uh, hey. Uh, uh, she picks up on that and smirks. Oh, I'm gonna torture you later. Hey, uh, have you ever what? been in a jumping competition? Uh, she laughs. Haha, <laughs> you're funny. Have you ever been in a competition where you roll your head down the cliff? Yes, many times. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna try again? I'll be your opponent. Sure, I'll roll with you. <laughs> she laughs. I like you. You got spunk. Uh, just saying, uh, uh, ammo has pointy ears, so, you know. Yeah, but you're you know? that's under the hat, right? Yeah, oh, well, you're yeah. black. <laughs> but you're black. Wow. <laughs> no, he, wow. He's not an elf, by the way. Aww. Huh? Exactly, your skin's black, isn't it? Uh, like, like, I mean actual black. Is place. Uh, Talila, you see that the elf girl is reaching behind the counter and she takes out some... Uh, uh, cookies that you actually recognize. These are native to your world, and she gives you some uh, uh, druid cookies. <gasps> druid cookies. There you go, dear. Are they in the shape? Oh, wow, since are they in the shape cookies, of right? little animals? Oh. They're in the shape of little animals, aren't they? <laughs> no, no, shape of trees. That would be Animal cookies. Yeah, she gives you some druid cookies. It's been quite a while. Talua, you probably haven't had these cookies for a couple of years since you were home with your mother. The tear up the. No, I'm on this cookie. Nah, while you're eating, she just hugs you from behind. You're so cute. I never wanna let you go. <laughs> you have to. Anyway. Hey, don't mess anyway. with my bro. Huh? Does anybody <laughs> have... When you say that, uh, she gets annoyed at you, Sullivan, since you're trying to get in her way and cock block her. She just uh, grunts Whoa. at you. What do you want, short stuff? Fuck. What I want is what I need. And I need you... Yes, tell the sexy elf what you need. <laughs> Also, I want a book. Uh, book. <laughs> oh, you're one of those types, huh? Oh, okay, then what book you want? Yeah, nerd. Short stuff. Nerd. <laughs> what book Read you a want? fucking book, nerd. I want a book on cybernetics or whatever you call them. <laughs> yeah, sure, I guess I have some. What are you gonna offer me for it? This one. No, I'll take. And he one. pulls down his pants. No, he, he says no. I want. <laughs> no. And he tugs it. <laughs> And she took some Talua. What? I, mean, I you didn't cannot hear have... what you said. I didn't hear what I said! Uh, he says, no, I don't want your stinky wand. I want Talua. I'm taking it. <laughs> How does she know my name? I didn't say my name. Yeah, I know. Yet somehow Do you remember she knows. when the, her master knew our names That's before when we walked he into here? Up. No, dude. These are basically traders of knowledge. It's their job to know everything. Yeah, and the dude knew our names when we walked in here before. You think the assistant of that dude doesn't know our names? Yes. She just <laughs> laid off like she didn't know who you were because that's basic courtesy. If, she j if you guys just walk in and she says, Oh, hey guys, I know by name. How's it going? That would be... Alright, fine. I don't really care about this that much. Let's just move on. Okay, yeah, then. I care. Anyway, so Alexander moves up and says, uh, uh, what, What's in these jars, anyway? 
Like he's looking around all the things she's got on display, unlike the other dude. <laughs> um, I do believe that's none of your business, sir. Oh, she's got some. Ah, uh, come on! I want to see. Knowledge is not free. You should know this if you're a regular here. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander can't help but uh, laugh. By the way, when uh, she says so... that, she whispers in your ear to Leo. By the way, dear, that doesn't apply to you. I'll tell you everything you wish to know. And she just blows that <laughs> air into your ear. Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> this is illegal. <laughs> Not here, it isn't. <laughs> By the way, I want to slowly go up and say, I think we should get Tally away from you. Nah, I think I'll keep her. I like yeah. her. I've... Oh, By the way, Alexander, Alexander holds bad. Tally and slowly tries j pulling her away. I think she's had enough. Uh, she li she seems herself. very displeased, but she doesn't like try to yank Tally away or something. <laughs> Tally, stay away from people like that. No, even if they don't no, leave me, why? You see even if they offer you cry. sweets, even if they offer you sweets, they could be bad people. From my, they could from be. my homeland. I I know, but just don't go near her. She's why? honey potting you. Don't trust it. You know what? Hey, I'm starting to not like you people. I I don't I don't trust you taking care of Tally. I think I feel like she's in danger with you. <laughs> Maybe she should stay here, I'll protect her. Well, it you have no idea. Times. See? Oh my god, she's been getting stabbed? That's not good for you. What yeah, if she's she's stabbing? crushed! She's you know, crushed seven people, people as a people. rhino! Stabbing can <laughs> kill people, I don't know if you know if, if you guys know that. But... but she's crushed several people as a rhino. No, they were skeletons, it's different! Oh? They were already dead! She offers another high five to Tali. Good job. Killed them again. <laughs> you killed them twice, you monster. She doesn't care. She seems You impressed. denied their second chance in life. By the way, Alexander's going to lean she over, and he's got he's got his merchant face, and he goes, "How about this? He can get his <sighs> book, and we will let you two talk for a while." No. Come on, <laughs> it's a fair fast. trade. She scratches her hand. Right. You know what? Fine. Yo, she offers her hand for a shake. No, Alexander wait, shakes her hands. Wait! No! <laughs> you shake hands? She she smirks. Okay, then deal complete. She's, uh, she's, uh, cracks her fingers. I guess you guys didn't know that the information and about machines and all that stuff is offered here for free by the machines, huh? Oh well! Well, I can't stop you if you want one of my books instead. Bullcrap! <laughs> it was just a copy. Now, tell you uh, what. Uh, actually... Bull Actually, crap. I, I believe. Sh no, shut up. I'm still talking. Anyway, <laughs> Alexander goes. I believe I said for a book, not the book. So he can get any book he wants. Hey, that's not how it works. He said he wants. Uh, uh, you no, know, he said. I said if he wants a book, and you agreed to those terms, so he can get a book. And thank you for telling us that piece of information, by the way. I uh, knew you were kind. Right uh, I guess that's why the old crones always uh, making fun of me uh, and won't leave me in charge. Uh, hey, don't uh, worry about it. You anyway, make up Ali, for the lack on, of smarts let's get some in fun. other areas. Leave these old it's geezers okay. behind. <laughs> but I'm older than him. I'm yeah, older than all of them. It doesn't really count, dear. Together. <laughs> you know humans uh. and elves different lifespans, we, we can't really judge them like that. I'm not a human! So, so by the time they realize what's going on, they're already weak, old, and fray and dying. Truly. I'm not a human! What a weak race. Yeah, I know, right? I'm not a human either. Oh. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Jesus, racism. <laughs> Poor souls, they're barely babies by the time they die. God. Hey, my mother is 7,000 years old. Yeah, well, good for um, you. I still don't believe this. Anyway. Uh, oh, Sullivan, okay. why don't you go and get pick out a book? Remember what she said, all the machine books are for free. So I think I'll join you in reading some of them. Oh, yeah. Just one. And you have to pick, you can't read them. What? Huh? You said all the machine yeah. books are for free. Yeah, the machine, books are, uh, the machine books are for free in the machine city. Not in here. Oh, so I guess they supplied them outside. What do you think I'm running here? Uh, fucking charity? 
Hello? Okay then, I just want to read the Argos book again. I'll go and find it, don't worry. Okay, you Wait. got access to that one, so... Hmm. I thought libraries were where free books are read. No, shh, dear, no. <laughs> anyway, she picks you up uh, in her arms and cuddles you and uh, takes you to the, to the back room. As the oh, door no. slowly closes, <laughs> creaking... No! You see no! the... No! <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! So yeah, O'Sullivan, thanks to Alexander, you've ga you've gained access to one book of your choice. In exchange for me. But is it worth it? <laughs> and that's why I'm a merchant. <laughs> hey, Tally said she wanted to stay near her. <laughs> yeah, Tally in the back room, she treats you. Yeah, she makes her own decisions. She, she talks fine. about uh, the world you came from, since it seems like she's from there as well. So you guys just have a nostalgic chat. By the way, uh, Mushi is in there with you guys. Yeah. How did oh, you wow. So, uh, O'Sullivan, what book are you picking? It's getting interesting. <laughs> I'm thinking. Fair <laughs> I'll go and read my Argos book while we're waiting. Just, just a grimoire count as a book. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I want that one! I can't have that I one! I want the grimoire of black magic! Here it's we go! Book. It's like, it's a book! <laughs> yeah, I want this tome of ultimate fucking magic, let's go! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, brilliant. So yeah, while this is going on, uh, you guys uh, have your fun, blah blah blah. Well, Sullivan, you can tell me what book uh, you got uh, later. Are and there any books on Black Magic? What? Are there any books on Black Magic? I think you already got access to most of them. Ooh, and you ooh, already uh, read... Is there a book on Sources of Power? Sources of Power? Considering there's plenty of Sources of Power all over the world, can you be a bit more specific? Oh, I know. Uh, how about uh, the biggest book on dragons? Uh, okay, you can learn some basic draconic shit from it then, okay. Yeah. Is that what you want? Dragon magic, yay. <laughs> Dragon! Okay, from oh. the book. Basically what you learn about dragon is, dragons is that uh, there's like different types. There's drake type dragons, there's like flesh out dragons and then there's ancient dragons the the normal dragons are the most common and they usually possess some kind of weird quirks and powers where they can manipulate objects elements and uh, different magic types and you use them to their advantage usually they're pretty sturdy uh, they have pretty sturdy bodies and they live pretty long that's the uh, that's their general description with of course being some uh, different variations of them the drakes are the uh, are the second most common one they're basically a mishmash of dragons and of weaker beings that their blood have been diluted what you fought underwater was actually a water drake when Sullivan was not there that had a poison uh, fang and stuff such mm -hmm. they are very aggressive and they cannot be reasoned they're just, uh, they just kill everything in sight. While the dragons, so... some of them are sentient and can be reasoned and can even talk. While the elder dragons are believed to be extinct. Though in their prime it said that whoever could kill a dragon, he would gain its power. Oh, hello. No, don't kill a dragon. Yeah, yeah, remember, the, this is a legend. The no, ancient dragons are all extinct. And uh, by the way, extincting them was probably a bad idea because most of them were connected to nature. And since they were killed, it had uh, catastrophic events all over the world because of it. <clears throat> so yeah, w uh, whenever the opportunity arises where you get to meet dragons or such like such stuff like that, I'll tell you if from the book, just tell me I have a book about dragon knowledge and I'll tell you if you know something, spe something, something specific for that situation. Okay? Okay. Mm. Okay. Right. Now, 
With that being done, I assume you guys are gonna be leaving. Uh, Talila, you are greeted out by this girl, which name you now know. She's actually... Wait, what was her name? John. Zina. Dude, what's wrong with you people? Sherry. <laughs> uh, her name is uh, Sarah Fatina, but uh, just she tells you to call her Sarah. Oh John there's, Cena. there's actually a game, it's like an anime dating game where every character is replaced by some version of John Cena. <laughs> it's a real thing. Amazing. Dude, it's like a John Cena with pigtails and shit. Aside, let's, let's not talk about this, please. My <laughs> name is dating John sense. Cena! <laughs> anyway, okay. yeah, Sarah sees you guys off and says, If I get into trouble with my master because of what you did, I'm blaming you guys. Oh, by the way, you me, right? Any off hours? Oh, okay. <laughs> Tell you you're the best. Yeah. <laughs> Alexander's like, do you have any off hours, by the way? No. Yeah. Only for you, Tell you what. Why do all the cute ones always treat me like a little kid or... You know, Steal from interested you. in others. Cause you're an idiot. Towards Talila. Cause you're an idiot. I get all the ladies. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> right. <laughs> now, uh, so you guys leave the library. You guys enter the slum. So, mm. what are you guys gonna be doing? Gonna be looking wanna, for a club? I wanna <laughs> call a robot. <laughs> Okay, a robot comes over. How can we assist you, sir? I want a book on cybernetics. Uh, is there anything more specific you're into, sir? All the books on cybernetics. Um... That would be over 1,800 tomes, sir. Okay, I'll narrow my search. <laughs> I've got time. That's a wise wait, idea, wait, sir. Alexander leans in. Ask for anything by Bolin. You can call your own robot, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander's like, I'm trying to help you again. It's if you are having uh, marital spots, we offer great uh, family consultants. Yes, no, bring one for him. Program you. <laughs> just for one person. By the way, somewhere along the way, you just noticed that Plexi has left you guys. He's not around. Well, he does uh, that often. Where did, yeah. where did Plexi go? When oh, you look at the street, you see that he's nearby some terminal, and he's actually ripping the cables over so he can <laughs> connect himself. Fuck! To... This is not usual. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Stop! I have kids. <laughs> yeah, he's but basically yeah, anyway. connecting himself to the main frame of the city. I don't care. I have no feelings. Bring me books on cybernetic implants. <laughs> that will narrow the search to 15 books. Is that fine, sir? Yes. Very well, sir. We will have robots. them delivered to your living quarters. Uh, I want also a robot. Uh, <laughs> Everybody <laughs> wants a fucking robot. <laughs> mm -hmm. By the way, another robot uh, comes over to you, Vic, and says, Sir, have you been taking your medication properly? Do you feel alright after your operation? Hell yeah, man. I can <laughs> still well, see the benefit of being a citizen here, I'm just saying. No. <laughs> no. Just no. <laughs> Dude, do you want some? I asked the robot. Uh, <laughs> because I've got fucking sense. plenty, man. Sir, please take better care of yourself. If you are unable to make uh, judge, uh, logical decisions, we may provide you with an assistant bot to take care of you while you recover. Alright, it's cool, man. I have no idea what you said, but it's cool. <laughs> Peace. I walk away. <laughs> oh, actually, since um, Ocean Eleven's getting right? books delivered, I'm gonna ask for just um, do they have like teaching books around here? Depending on what. Uh, just medical practices, like the basics, like paramedic sort of deal. Uh, medical they do not. Stuff. The the robot says that all healing uh, is handled by us. If you require anything, you do not have to worry about it. Mm, I was hoping to prove They my do healing, not teach medicine. <clears throat> Mm. Oh well. Anyway, if you're heading back to our apartment, then we'll head towards the books. The will be delivered later tonight. They're not gonna be there for a while. Oh, fair oh. enough. Let's head towards the club then. 
<laughs> right, I'm, I'm guessing. Think we should ask some humans about where the club is. I'm. Not That's a wise idea. I'm guessing they're not gonna. Well, I wow, can't get... nice, nice beatboxing, man. How'd you learn that? <laughs> I guess I wouldn't be able to get a gun in here, right? No uh, weapons allowed in the city. Yeah. By yeah, the way, from what you see, even the, robo the robots that are patrolling, like sort of policemen, even they don't have weapons. Hmm, I suspect they have something cooking to a taser. We have those in my city. They hurt. Well, you know, uh, if they're like plexes, you can punch real hard. So, yeah. By the yeah, way, as you can notice, most true. of the city look, uh, most of the people in the city look very depressed. Like, this is pretty much, imagine Canada. Your life is perfect, you <laughs> have everything, Canada. and that's why you suicide, because you're, because you're just bored of your fucking stale life. What this the is how the fuck? people around here right? like. Is this what Canada is like, really? Yeah, no, do you have any idea how many people no, throw themselves but... under the, uh, under the trains? No. Dude, it's crazy. I feel like that Canada is doesn't Japan. have that high. I don't think that's, that's true not... at all. That is no, Japan. It's not. No, yeah, Japan, they throw said, themselves from buildings. This is a, I'm just saying, this is a no, common that's China. story of trans, of trans humanism. Like, your life well, is yeah, so Anyway, perfect. people are very depressed. They look like they, right, they hate their lives, pretty much. Cool. Awesome. Right then. They should use right, more I'm drugs. Gonna, right, does any, like, is anybody stands out sort of deal, like, uh, in the alleyway? Well, no, maybe? nobody stands out, but uh, if, when you approach them, they straight up tell you, Oh yeah, you did good to ask us instead of the fucking machines and the boat buckets. Uh, they kind of pretty much tell you where the club is located so you guys can go. And from what you can tell, like the people don't like the machines very much. I, I guess I'll ask the people at the club why. Because Alexander's seeming a bit confused about that point. But yeah, he has start heading towards the club using the alleyways as directed before. So yeah, as you go through the alleyways, you eventually start hearing, uh, no, feeling more like a, a slight uh, like buzzing, like tremor from loud music, you know. So eventually you're reaching towards where the club is in one of the side alleys. You see a big bouncer outside. Around uh, around the side uh, side alleys there's nothing, but suddenly there's a, a door sticking out leading down, down towards the basement and the bouncer's right in front of it. You guys got an invitation? By the way, the bouncer is a huge ass fucking robot with four hands and they're all beefy. And he's got oh. them all covered up under a coat. Shit. And Gilgamesh? he's smoking a, a dude, fake cigar. Dude, dude, you're like my uncle Goro. Fuck. <laughs> uh, he, he narrows his eyes and looks towards you guys. That guy gonna be a problem? Uh, no, he's just uh, healing. We'll take care of him. You guys don't but, seem uh, like you're from around here. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh shit, we've got, we've got this uh, an invitation note here. Uh, the robot snags the letter from you and checks the handwriting. I see. Right, yeah. go on in then. And be careful. I don't like troublemakers. You don't wanna know what I do with troublemakers. Give them big hugs? <laughs> funny guy, funny guy. It's I'll what give I do. your ass a fucking squeeze if you know what I mean. What the fuck, man? I don't. If I mean, Alexander says that, like, you see that I... uh, between a bit on, on on his arm, you see some kind of metal <laughs> spike appear, and it's very pointy, and it uh, runs electricity through it. Why is he everyone so sex a very obsessed weird in this fetish. city, man? I don't know. Everybody seems to be a pervert in this city so far. Yeah. <laughs> or in this universe, <laughs> Dude, it man. messes my chi. Uh, by the way, he, <laughs> he, he even though his cigar is fake, he just grabs it with his hands and he just tips a little bit over him and <clears throat> falls off and then he puts it back in your hand. So are you guys going in or what? Yeah, that's it on in. sticking out like sore thumbs. By the way, I think yeah. we should keep Victor high all the time. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. I hear those things mess up your brain. No, I see more yeah. clearly than ever, man. <laughs> I'm finally relaxed. Oh my god, I got my god. arm back. <laughs> there, are, there are eyes watching us everywhere, man. They By the way, us. at some point, Plexi has joined you guys and he says, Don't uh, mind the robot's weird behavior. He was reprogrammed by humans. That's why he's so quirky. Uh, so he's quirky like you then. By the way, uh, you notice that uh, Plexi has... Uh, 
You know that show Pimp My Ride? Well, Plexi kind of pimped himself up. He's got like spinners on his legs. Did you go to a nice <laughs> Spoiler on his back. Tinted Whoa. eyes. So that's how Plexi looks uh, now. Does he have Mr. T's jewelry as well? Heap? Yeah. Oh, I, 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 when I knock on him, is he made out of metal now? Apart from when that? you knock on him, he's solid, dude. It hurts to knock on him. Why does he look like yeah, a mecha rabbit? What did you pick up? I will tell you later. He just leans over towards you, Alexander. Gets uncomfortably close to your face. You see his dead eyes, dead eye, stare into your soul, and he says, "Don't worry, Alexander." Everything's fine. By the way, unlike before, Alexander is completely unfazed. Is completely unfazed by this. He goes, "What are these for, anyway?" And starts like fiddling with his. So when he does that very ominous thing, he slaps your hands away so you don't touch him, and then he uh, he uh, gets away from you and explains, "I've lately been reading a lot of ominous uh, shit. I hope you like my interpretation and take on it." Dude, oh, you, you look fucking ominous? stupid. It's like gargoyle helmet. No, yeah, he sorry, looks like a mecha uh, rabbit. That was actually yeah. quite good acting, though. Sorry I didn't respond like normal. Uh, right. I like it. Whatever. So, uh, what's uh, up? The, the big bouncer like steps out of the way so he can let you in. Uh, the the shabby looking door turns out is shabby just on the outside because it's 20 centimeters thick. Clear fucking steel. As you walk in, the, you're immediately blasted through the uh, through the loud sound as the door closes behind you. You're walking through a tunnel. You hear doo -doo 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 -doo, like it's a, a lot of loud mu music and shit. And on the walls, you see a lot of graffiti and um, paintings depicting like uh, violence between machines and robots. How they're not getting along. How machines are crying blood. How they're stepping over the corpses of men, stuff like that, like very grotesque shit. And then the one that stands out the most is a machine hand that's holding a human bleeding heart and it's squeezing it literally dry. And um, right above it, it says, no heartbeat, no service. Wow. Uh, <laughs> propaganda is strong in here. So as you guys walk in, you enter like the main club area and stuff, just a sec. You see a dance floor and a party, woo, like nothing you've ever seen before because this shit doesn't happen in your medieval ages. Now let's play some fucking music. Oh no. Yeah, I expected some disco. I wanna know what's playing, hold on. You know, um... My grandfather told me Don't worry, I'm not playing the usual bullshit. I'll play something that's a little more easy on the ears. Because this bar has, kind of has some special things to it, so the music has to be a bit special as well. Okay. Right. So as you guys walk in, uh, you just take in the whole scene, like there's a bar, there's like uh, all sorts of drinks going all over the place, people are dancing on the dance floor, there's a lot of light shows, hopefully none of you are fucking dyslexic or something or whatever. Well, we're about to find out. Dyslexic? No, not dyslexic. What was that? Oh, seizure inducing, Epilepsy. whatever. Epilepsy. Yeah, epilepsy. Thanks, man. There we go. Yeah. So, you guys are doing Slexy. all that. Everybody's having fun. And how can you forget epilepsy? It's written on everything. Yeah, I don't Every... treat. Uh, <laughs> Every time I. And that Dude, kind of bullshit. Guys, my dyslexia is kicking in. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you guys are uh, all over the place, uh, the, the guy that you saw earlier approaches you, he introduces himself as Bon, a personal assistant, and he uh, uh, he asks for you to follow him into the VIP lounge. <laughs> well, that's fair, let's go into your VIP lounge, I guess. You've been invited. <laughs> What's a VIP lounge? It's where you get treated as a very important person. Oh. And let's just say there's a more uh, privileged show there. Instead of watching the fuckers like dance over the place, they get a special treatment. Of course. Oh no. Just My saying. child eyes will be scarred. Aww. <laughs> I was like, Who brought a ever. child into a club? <laughs> <laughs> My eyes! Alexander, Alexander well. wonders how old he has to be to be in here. <laughs> you have to be this tall. 
Then three well, of our shit. members are out. <laughs> <laughs> My hat reach is pretty high. Uh, Hats don't count. Uh, what if I say it's part of my body? So yeah, he That's brings you over weird. to the table of this guy. Uh, when he sees you over, he uh, like removes his eyes from the girls dancing and he just greets you and says, Welcome, welcome, take a seat, take a seat, welcome to the human slave market. <laughs>